Number 68. Cobalt metal can be prepared by reducing cobalt 2 oxide with carbon monoxide. And then they give us this little fancy balanced equation. Oh, it, it might be balanced, but maybe not. I don't see any coefficients in front of here, right? So whenever you don't see coefficients, just check. But we'll check in a little bit. Uh, they gave us a Kc at 550 degrees Celsius. And they say, what concentration of CO remains in an equilibrium mixture with the CO2 concentration of being 0.100 molarity? Okie dokie. So I'm going to write this out a little bit bigger. So we have cobalt 2 oxide, C lowercase o, capital O, solid, plus the carbon monoxide, and that's a gas. And this comes to equilibrium, I see those double arrows, with cobalt metal, and then carbon dioxide, CO2. Now, they're asking for what concentration of CO, so that's this, right? So we're looking for a concentration of CO. Remember, concentration is just a fancy way for saying molarity. So we're basically looking for the molarity of the CO. And all that we know is that we have a molarity of CO2. These brackets, remember, means molarity as well. And they give me capital M, so it's molarity. Uh, and it's for CO2. So that's this side. So I know CO2 is 0 0.100 molarity. Okay. So we're talking about us being at equilibrium. So if we have values for equilibrium, oh, hold on. Equil, equil. <laughs> I think I spelt it right. So if we have values at equilibrium, we go straight to our Kc expression, right? It's a general expression. It's this one right here, which I'll put over here. Remember, it's just the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants, but we got to play by the game. Only aqueous and gases are allowed in this formula. So just always check your states. But look here, guys. I see that I have a solid, another solid, and then I have gases. Only aqueous and gases are allowed. So are these allowed in my expression? Absolutely not. They're solids. No solids and no liquids. So get rid of them. Goodbye. I don't even care about this. And goodbye. I don't even care about the cobalt, right? So now we are ready to write our Casey expression. Now I only have one product and one reactant. Don't worry about these when you're writing your Casey expression. Okay, so... We have Kc equals concentration of products over reactants. So now I just have the CO2 as my product. So concentration of CO2. And uh, when I did scan over this, I did see that this was balanced. So there is a 1 in front of the CO2. So that means that you just raise it to the first, but you don't have to. And then it's the concentration of CO. That's our reactant. And the same thing goes here. There was no coefficient, which means that there was one. I can raise it to the first, but anything raised to the first is itself. Now let's just plug in what we know. They did give us a Kc number, so 4.90 times 10 to the second. Ooh, hold on, times 10 to the second. And they gave me a CO2 concentration, so that's down here, 0 0.100 and we're looking for the molarity of CO. So that's an X. Let's just plug it in. Now, before I do that, I just want to say one thing, guys. A lot of, a lot of students with uh, equilibrium, you know, they say, they gave us a temperature. Christina, what are we going to, you know, what are we going to do with this temperature? Well, is, you know, is there a temperature in this formula? No. So do we really care that there's a temperature number here? Absolutely not. Sometimes they will give you extra information. Don't be scared. Just trust the formulas, okay? All right, now let's plug it in. So 4.90 times 10 to the second equals, we got the 0 0.100 divided by x. And now this is just cross multiplication, right? So if I just do this, it would be 4.90 times 10 to the second, and that's times by x now, and that equals the 0 0.100 right from the top. All we have to do is just divide by the 4.90 times 10 to the second on both sides. 
and that will cross this number off. So we just are labeled with X. And maybe I'll just bring this up just so I could write down here. So let me just actually get rid of this. So now we have X, which was, remember, the concentration of CO2. So concentration of CO, actually, no, sorry. I said CO2, just the concentration of CO. I'm a little bit under the weather today, so bear with me. Sorry, guys. But we got to get these, these questions done, even though, even though I'm a little sick, but whatever. <laughs> um, okay, so let's do this math. 0.1 divided by 4.90 times 10 to the second. And in this case, I'm going to round my answer. I see that I have three sig figs and three sig figs, so I'm going to give my answer three sig figs. So 2.04 times 10 to the negative fourth, and that's molarity, so capital M. And we are done. That's the answer. They said what concentration remains. That's the same thing as saying what is the concentration, right? What's the concentration of CO that's at equilibrium, that remains at equilibrium? It's this amount. 2.04 times 10 to the negative 4 molarity. So thank you so much. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, stay safe out there. And I will see you all in later lessons. Okie dokie. Bye-bye.